Hi, welcome to Castleberg Outdoors. I'm here with James from Salomon and I'm Steve. Uh, we're here today to talk about the uh, Salomon S Lab Sense 4 shoe. Indeed. Yeah. So, um, a new shoe for us, mm -hmm. kind of completely redesigned from the old uh, the old shoe that we did, the S Lab Sense 3 Ultra. Okay. Um, main differences that we're going to see is, is largely in the, the grip and the durability of the oh, shoe. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. So, um, in terms of the sole unit that we use, we're using obviously our ContraGrip sole unit. Okay. ContraGrip is our own brand. Right, yeah, we develop yeah. it, we do exactly what we want with that sole unit. Right, yeah, yeah. We've got multiple different compounds in it, yeah. so we can adjust how durable it is in certain areas and how okay. sticky it is in other areas. Yeah. Um, the main thing that you're going to kind of see the difference with is the actual tread pattern though. Yeah, it's quite obviously different, isn't it, from yeah. the previous versions. So, so we've got yeah. a lot more surface area. That is actually going to be in contact with the with the the ground. Um, with this being designed as a hard ground uh, racing training shoe, you're going to be using it on wet rocks possibly, mm -hmm. um, a lot of dry sandy conditions yeah, possibly, hard pack surfaces yeah, that kind of thing. So exactly kind of, kind of trials. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So this is just really going to work in that in those kind of conditions. Uh, a good amount of surface area is just really going to grip in. Yeah. The square style studs as opposed to the, the chevron pattern that we used to use yeah. um, is just again going to cut in a okay. little bit better. Yeah. Um, same kind of story in the midsole from the old one. Uh, we've okay. got that Profilm rock plate in there which yeah. just sits in that uh, forefoot of the shoe. Yeah. You wouldn't believe kind of if you saw one of those how much of a difference that possibly could work because yeah. it's like a really thin piece of PU. Okay. No idea. Um, yeah. But once you've got these on your feet, it makes yeah. a massive, massive difference. Yeah. It just gives you some really good protection in that form. I was going to say, there's a lot of protection there for such yeah. a you know, kind of thin sole unit. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay. Um, Midsole wise, yeah. again, as the old ones and as with yeah. the soft ground version of these, we've got a four mil heel to toe drop. Okay. Um, so it is definitely going to push you into that more four foot, mid foot. Right, yeah. Um, yeah. Kind of running stance. Yeah. Um, a good amount of durability in the midsole, so yeah. we have up to the up the durability a little okay. bit from the old versions. Right. Yeah, yeah. So you're definitely going to yeah. see a lot more mileage coming out of these than okay. from the originals. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of the upper, you can see that we've done the sensi fit slightly differently. Okay. Um, so this is yeah. more of a bonded on kind of process okay. rather yeah. than a, a laminate that went on the top like on the older the older right, model. Yeah. Yeah. Now this really does yeah. just hug your feet. The sensi fit works like fingers going yeah. over the top of the foot. Um, yeah. And just fits the foot all the way from that opening right into that toe box. Yeah, you, you can kind of feel that's kind of almost yeah. pressed into the Part surface of the, of the, the mesh almost yeah, so, and then bonded. So, mm. yeah. Uh, again, we're using the quick lace system as we okay. as we do in our racing yeah. shoes. And th these laces, they're still the uh, Kevlar. Kevlar. Yeah. So we've right, got okay, nylon yeah, on yeah. the outside, which is the yeah. bit you can actually see. And then yeah. if you ever cut one open, um, you will see that it's got a white core, so it's okay. kind of like a climbing rope construction. Okay. And yeah. that white core is what the Kevlar is. Right. Brilliant. Incredibly tough, uh, yeah. very very high breaking strength. Yeah, um, yeah, really really good, Great. good uh, solid laces to use, right. and obviously yeah. they are super quick. So if you do need to make any adjustments throughout the race or the training run, um, yeah. you're going to be able to do that really nice and quick. Right. All yeah. stows away into the little pockets, so you've not got this fucking yeah. lace uh, uh, locking around. Um, okay. And then we're, again, we're using the endo fit on the inside, which is okay. the stock kind of liner. Yeah, um, it gives it a completely seamless construction on the inside. Yeah. Incredibly comfortable to wear. So that kind of maps around from the yeah. the sole absolutely unit yeah. all the way all the way through. Yeah, yeah, so it kind of runs at about this point here. Yeah, um, it's really really thin, it almost feels like neoprene. It's not yeah. neoprene, obviously, because yeah. that wouldn't breathe very well. Um, but yeah, really highly breathable, okay. very very comfortable. But that does also help with the fit of the shoe. So yeah, it really sucks onto your foot. Okay, gives you a really nice fit all the way through. Yeah, but uh, two hundred and forty grams, so incredibly okay. lightweight still, yeah. uh, a touch heavier. But the reason that it is that little bit heavier is that we're going to get that added uh, extra durability okay. out of it. Right, yeah. Really yeah. good shoe for yeah. anything from your really fast 10k all the way up to your 150 mile race. Um, you're going to be quite happy in a pair yeah. of these. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, well thanks James. No problem. Thanks very much for watching.